Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 17 settings that you should turn off right now on your iPhone running iOS 14. These will help you improve the privacy, security, performance as well as battery life on your device running iOS 14. So if you just updated to iOS 14 or you got a new device, make sure you go ahead, check out the settings app and check out these 17 settings and turn them off right now. All right, first off, we're talking about a new setting that Apple has added to iOS 14. You go to settings, you go to privacy, and you go to location services. If you go to any of the apps right here, you will find a button that says precise location. Now, what this does, it allows the app to precisely locate where you're at. If you disable this, it will just like guess where you are, maybe like an area or maybe a city, a small city or something like that, but it won't know precisely the exact place you are. That of course will protect your privacy, but it will also basically save a lot of battery on your device because apps trying to precisely locate where you're at will consume a ton of battery. So make sure you go to settings, go to privacy, location services, and turn off precise location for any of the apps that you have on the list. Under the location services settings, if you just scroll all the way down, you will find system services. If you go here, you will find a section that says significant location. Now, what significant location does, it basically will save locations that you frequently visit and you will have them listed right here. I don't know why that's useful. You probably know locations you currently you frequently visit, so you don't need to have a list here being saved. So of course that will protect privacy and will protect also battery life. So make sure you go ahead and turn it off from here. Now, if you go back, you will also find here a ton of different system services that you probably don't need, like compass calibration. You will have here things like location-based alerts. You can turn these off, location-based suggestions, motion and calibration. You will have here like setting time zones, things like that, that you probably don't need to use at all. Of course, you should always leave on emergency calls and SOS and find my phone book, but you can go ahead and turn off off the other ones and lower here will also find product improvement so you i don't really believe you need to basically help apple improve their products they do it pretty good so make sure you go ahead and turn these off as well now if you go back you will also find here other settings by going to accessibility let's just quickly go to accessibility right here and you will find some settings for siri now one of them is right here under accessibility in Siri that says always listen for hey Siri. Now what this does is that it keeps your iPhone awake basically always listening for hey Siri. Even though your iPhone might be face down or in your pocket, it will still be listening for the word of course keeping the phone active that way it also consumes a ton of battery so make sure you go ahead and turn this off as well. Now let's go back once more here to the settings and go to Siri and search. Here we have announce messages with Siri. Now of course if you use this always make sure that you have this turned off. This is reply without confirmation. Now basically you want to reply with a message. Siri will ju will just send that message right away without having it read to you first and confirm if that's the correct message that you want to send. So always make sure go ahead and turn this off. Something else that you should turn off is found under privacy here. If you scroll all the way down, you will find analytics and improvements. Right here, you will find a lot of different analytics that you can share with Apple, like share your iPhone and watch analytics. You can have here improved Siri and dictation, iCloud analytics, and all that. You can keep all of these off. Basically, it will just save you a ton of battery. If you don't want to share analytics with Apple, you can go ahead and turn these completely off. Now something really really important that I suggest every user should check out is the settings of Face ID and Passcode. Whether it's Touch ID or Face ID, whatever you use, go ahead and go under settings and scroll all the way down. Here we'll find a list of things that are accessible even though your device is locked with Face ID, Passcode or Touch ID. You have things like the Notification Center, Control Center, Siri, and these are really important like reply with message and return missed calls so someone can reply to a message even though the device might be locked or return a missed call so you don't want that to happen make sure you go ahead and take a look at this list 
and just completely turn off the ones that you feel you need to. Of course, having more free storage on your iPhone is very important. There are a lot of things that will take up a ton of space on your iPhone without you even knowing. Something like, for example, podcasts. If we scroll down right here, we have settings for podcasts right here. Now, if you go under the podcast settings, you will find here download episodes. If you go here, you will have a button that allows basically to download the new episodes or all unplayed episodes. If you follow a lot of podcasts and you know they are pretty big, you know that they will take a ton of space on your device. So what you want to do is keep this off. So basically you can listen to episodes, but they won't be actually downloaded to your device, which of course will save you a ton of space. The same goes for music. If you go back and go to music right here, we'll find downloaded music and underneath it you will have automatic downloads now automatic downloads will automatically download locally any song that you have purchased through itunes so what you want to do is go ahead and turn this off from the music settings you have here the same settings basically for the notes app so if you go under notes you know that with the notes app you can take pictures and also scan documents but it has an option to actually go ahead and save those to the camera roll so it is right here have it turned on right here make sure you go ahead and turn it off because any like document that you scan or picture that you take with the notes app will be also saved under the camera roll of your device so you will have basically the same picture or document in two places so make sure you go ahead and turn this off as well there are a few settings that you also need to change on safari so go to safari right here and you will find preload top hits now what this does when you're searching for something it will preload the top hit so when you click on it it's already been loaded but most of the time you won't actually click that at all so what that will do is just consume a ton of data getting the top hit ready for you so what you want to do is go ahead and turn this off so you will save a ton of data also if you scroll down here you will find settings for websites now if you go here to location you will find location access for all websites so whatever you do here you allow or you deny this will be on all websites all the same so you click allow all the websites will have your location so what you want to do is just tap on ask that's the best thing you can do on safari tap on ask and then anytime any website wants to actually have access to your location it will have to ask you first before having your location so that's the best way to go now the same thing goes also for your microphone and for the camera you will find those settings right here under the safari settings camera and microphone those are very important as well especially the microphone go ahead and check these out and see how you have them configured don't ever leave them on allowed because then these are like general settings for all websites and all of them will have access to your microphone or to your camera let's go back here we have a couple more settings to check out under display and brightness we have here rise to wake now rise to wake is basically a feature of the iphone that's pretty cool but will consume a ton of battery you rise your iphone from a table or pick it out of your pocket it will light up the screen without you having to touch your device but i suggest you keep that off and last but not least under general we have app background refresh now this is real important all these apps right here are refreshing in the background which means that they are working in the background and they are downloading stuff in the background you don't want that to happen so what you want to do is first of all go ahead and just choose wi-fi right here then go ahead and take a look at the list of the apps that you have right here choose which apps you want to have basically be, you want to be working in the background just leave those enabled the other ones can be disabled from here just go ahead and choose each each of them and just turn off the switch right there for each of the app so that's basically it for this video guys these are 17 iphone settings on ios 14 that i believe are very important and you should turn off right now in order to protect the privacy security battery life as well as performance on your iphone running ios 14. i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you found it helpful leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one